up y'all it's your boy childish cambino and i'm back with another album review today i'm gonna be reviewing logic's supermarket soundtrack titled after his debut novel supermarket so with that being said let's get right into the review i'm gonna get the negatives out of the way first so i can save my praises for later so to kick things off with i really felt like logic fumbled the bag here on supermarket to begin with he's always been criticized for copying other rapper styles in the past and he does the same thing on here in two distinct locations. On the songs Lemon Drop and Vacation For Myself, his inspiration for those songs are just very, very blatant. And it doesn't seem organic. It doesn't seem like him. In regards to Lemon Drop, he sounds like he's impersonating the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's very distinctive, easy to pick up on. And on the song Vacation For Myself, you can hear Logic doing his best Mac DeMarco impersonation, trying to match his chill, laid-back flow and delivery while he's on the song. Another place where the album really stumbled was on the songwriting. I found it to be very basic and kind of meaningless. Usually, when Logic's making music, whether it's a feature or his albums, he can stick to the topic, come through with some nice content and have it be interesting. But on hair, I found it for a large part of it, the, the songwriting was just very simple, uh, not much to look into or didn't have any meaning at all, kind of fillerish, I guess you could say. Moving on, uh, while I was listening to the album, I also found that listening to him sing or attempt to sing, because he isn't really much of a singer, listening to him attempt to sing for the majority of the album through the 13 tracks, I found his voice to get really old due to his very limited range. He can't really do much with it. He he isn't really versatile when it comes to his range and his singing. So I just found that to get really boring and tiring at times uh, throughout my listenings. Now on to the positives. What I can say about this album that is very pleasant is that the production is A1. Six, Logic, Mac DeMarco, everyone who had a hand in the production did a really great job on the beats, all the instrumentals. I think they fire, they sound really nice. On the songs that have transitions, they really transition into each other. Uh, the different the different beats, they transition into each other nicely. Uh, nothing sounds out of place. I just think it sounds really great. And while I didn't like the album all that much, I'm really happy that Logic made this album. It really sounded like it was something he wanted to make. So I'm, I'm glad that he got to experiment on this album with a bunch of different sounds alternative indie bit of rock uh, I'm glad he got to make this album and just put all this together into something very creative very experimental for him uh, not in his normal realm of rapping and speaking of rapping while majority of this album is um, him doing a bit of that singing like I said earlier he does throw in a bit of rapping and hip-hop elements into this as well so that keeps it fresh and that keeps it uh, very lively keeps it on your toes something different so I really like that about the album as well so out of the 13 tracks on this album I came away with six favorite songs and those being can I kick it on can I kick it I really find that logic um, I said that he got criticized for copying other rapper styles well on can I kick it I really feel like that was his best way of paying homage and not sounding completely like uh, another rapper. And, and this time, A Tribe Called Quest, you know, Can I Kick It? Everyone and their mom knows that song. So I just found him coming through in that track with his rapping was really smooth. The instrumental was nice. And Juto, Juto provides some really nice vocals on that song as well. Um, my next favorite song, Time Machine. I really mess with that song. The instrumental, the lyrics about uh, how the girl dies and Logic keeps continuously trying to save her. I mess with that track. By the Bridge, another track I mess with. Uh, I believe he's alluding to suicide in this song using imagery and symbols like the bridge and jumping off and whatnot. Uh, vacation from myself. While on this song, I said he sounds ex very, very, very much so like Mac DeMarco. Uh, I really like it because of the production. The production is A1. It really, it really was the highlight of that track. So that's mainly why I like it because of the production. Next song, DeLorean, another song that I mainly like because of the dreamy production. It's amazing. Uh, I Love You Forever, I found that to be a nice closer to the album. I found that that was his best vocal performance on the album, Logic. 
sounded really well in that song, I Love You Forever. And as for my worst tracks, I only had two, which were Lemon Drop and I'm Probably Gonna Rock Your World. Lemon Drop because it, it sounds like a ripoff of the Red Hot Chili Peppers and also because of like very, very cringy lyrics like, If you a crybaby bitch, I'ma fuck your mom. That wasn't it. And I'm probably gonna rock your world. He just wasted some really good Mac DeMarco production right there. Uh, didn't do anything great with it. Wasted. So it's a no for me, dog. But yeah, uh, if I have to rate this album, I give it a five out of 10. So while the album was mid, while it was average, uh, I'm still looking forward to Logic's next project, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Uh, I hope he has a bit of the singing sprinkled in there. Uh, I heard it's probably gonna be majority rap, but I hope there's a little bit of singing in there. And I'ma just look forward to that and hope that it's better than this. But yeah, I'ma catch y'all next time for my next video. See ya.